Hello and welcome to Starving Artist Courses, your all-in-one online music education resource. My name is Juet Payne and I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome to your very first drum lesson. Now, I'm especially excited to be teaching drums today because drums was actually my very first instrument. When the movie Drumline came out, I immediately went to the drummer at my church and told him I need to learn how to play the drums. And what was awesome was that he didn't even hesitate. He went straight to his office, grabbed his snare, got some sticks, told me something to work on for the week, and it was all history. Now, Starving Artist Courses is here to help you unlock your creative potential. So, today the first thing we'll be learning is the drums. Now before we even start on the drums, I just want you guys to know, music is not difficult. <laughs> you guys can do this. Don't come in here overwhelmed or feeling like this is going to be something, you know, crazy difficult to, to comprehend. It's extremely elementary. If you can count to three, if you can count to four, six, eight, if you can count up to those numbers, then you can play drums, okay? Now, the first thing we wanna do is learn each part of the drum set, you know? So this is completely for beginners. If you've never played drums, if you just got your first drum set and you're trying to learn, this is it right here, okay? So, these are the parts. So this one is called the snare drum. And then on the floor right here, you have what we call the kick drum or the bass drum. Attached to the kick drum, you have toms. These are called rack toms, one and two. And then over here on the floor, you have the floor tom, okay? So those are the five parts of a drum set. Now there are many more components that can be added to a drum set, uh, but for now we're gonna be teaching with the kit that has the five pieces, okay? Now these shiny things here are called cymbals, okay? Now this first cymbal is called the hi-hat. It has two parts. It has this top layer and the bottom, and they're attached by this piece right here, okay? Then right here, we have what we call the crash symbol, and over here, we have a ride symbol. The next thing we wanna learn is how to hold the drumsticks. But before we do that, I wanna give a huge shout out to one of my friends, Diego Hernandez. He created these custom Starving Artist Courses drumsticks. He engraves and he does an amazing job and he created these drumsticks. So Diego, thank you so much, these are amazing. Uh, if you guys wanna follow him, uh, I put the link to his Instagram page right below. So you guys can click that, check him out, see all the stuff he works on, it's amazing, okay? Now back to holding the drumstick. Now, when you hold the drumstick, you don't wanna hold it all the way up here because it's a swinging motion. When you're playing drums, you're striking, you're swinging the sticks. And up here, you can't really swing. Like there's, <laughs> you can't really hit like this, you know? So you want to be able to have your hand somewhere down in this area. So typically a rule of thumb is, think of halfway the drumstick, halfway through, and then just put your hand in the center of that. Nice and simple, okay? Now everyone has different size hands, you know, so things can vary. So you just find what's comfortable for you, okay? but typically it's in this area here. And when you hold it, you don't wanna grasp it like this where your thumb you know, is over your other fingers. You wanna have your other fingers like this and then have your thumb resting on the stick, okay? Just like that, okay? Now as far as swinging the stick, it's all in the wrist, okay? So the wrist is swinging. You don't wanna keep the wrist stiff and have this whole forearm swinging. You know, they can get very tiring and this just isn't the best way to play to be fluid when you play, okay? You want to swing the wrist. Now, inevitably, this part of your arm is going to move, you know, you can't stop that. But the whole point is this isn't the main area that's moving. It's in the wrist, okay? Now today, with this being your very first drum lesson, we're really just going to focus in on the hi-hat. Okay, because the drums is the heartbeat. It's the heartbeat of the band and it's the pulse, okay? It keeps everything nice and consistent. It's what all the other instruments can fall back on, okay? So that's what the drums are for, okay? Now, the hi-hat is the one that we use to keep the timing, to keep the consistency, to hold the pulse, okay? So, we're going to be counting. Remember I mentioned numbers, okay? Now today, we're only gonna to count to four. And if you can get this down packed, there's countless songs that you can play right off the bat, okay? So with the hi-hat, we're going to count to four when we hit it. So you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, okay? One, two, three, four, all right? 
nice and simple, all right? Now in between, we're going to say and. Now what I just did right now was called quarter notes, but we're gonna put the word and between each one of those numbers, and that's going to divide it into eighth notes. Now if you don't understand what any of that means, don't worry about that right now, okay? Right now this is just musical jargon at the moment, but we're gonna break this down in later videos. But for now, just know quarter notes and eighth notes. That's it. And the number is one, two, three, four. That's it. All right, so when we're hitting this consistently, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. But when it's eighth notes, we're going to go one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Now notice the timing of me saying each number is at the same pace. So I'm not going one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three, you know, it's not uh, all sporadic, fast, slow, fast, slow, okay? It's going one and two and three and four, okay? So today we're going to work on 60 beats per minute. Now, there are 60 seconds in a minute, so technically each beat is going to be one second long, okay? So if you count seconds, one, two, three, four, that's how we're going to hit the hi-hat. But we're also gonna hit on the ands, so it's gonna go one and two and three and four, okay? Nice and simple, so let's go ahead and dive in and start playing it. Okay, so next we're going to focus on the snare drum. Remember, today's lesson is all about staying consistent, not speeding up, not slowing down. You wanna stay right on track, okay? Right with the beat, okay? So, when we hit the snare, we wanna make sure it's right on every count, all right, like this. Next, we're going to do the same thing on the kick drum. When you hit the kick, you want the punches to be nice and consistent, okay? You don't want it to be soft and really hard. Try to keep them nice and balanced when you strike, okay? Like this. Okay, so next we're going to focus on both hands, okay? Now, I'm right-handed, and that's why the drum set is set up like this. Typically, when you're right-handed, you play the drums this way, with the hands crossed over, and your right hand striking the hi-hat. If you're left-handed, it can be reversed, or people keep it in the right-hand uh, position, but then strike the hi-hat like this with their left hand, which is totally fine. You can do it this way, too, if you want, okay? But this is how people who are right-handed typically play, okay? But we wanna make sure that both hands are both consistent and giving the same amount of, of strike when you're hitting the drums, okay? So if this is your weak hand, if your left hand is your weak hand, you wanna bump it up and bring it up to you know the strength of your right hand, okay? So the way to do that is to play both hands together until they're both balanced out with how hard they're striking, okay? We're going to start this off at 60 beats per minute. All right, great job. So next, we're going to bump it up to 90 beats per minute. Same exercise, it's just gonna be a little faster, like this. Okay, so the next exercise is doing the exact same thing, but this time we're going around the entire drum set, like this.
Okay, great job. That was your very first drum lesson, okay? Now, we went from 60 beats per minute up to 90 beats per minute. Now, I don't expect you to start at 60 and then immediately switch up to 90. You wanna work your way up consistently, okay? So, on the first day of this week, start at 60. The next day, bump it up by five beats. So go to 65, next day 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, okay? Now I suggest that you get a metronome app and I put a link in the description below of one that I recommend, but just download it to your phone or download it to your tablet, put some headphones in and turn it up and make sure you're staying locked with that click as you're playing, okay? That's the whole point of this exercise. Remember, the first day started at 60, raise it up by five BPM increments each day until you get up to 90 and just keep working on that this week, okay? Next week, we're going to learn our very first drum beat. So tune in for that. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because all of these lessons are going to add up and build on top of each other, okay? So you don't wanna miss anything. You wanna be notified each week when the next lesson is coming, all right? Lastly, I would like to give you a free gift for tuning in and for being one of our new students. It's called Finding Your Rhythm, Making Time for Your Dreams. This PDF guide was created to give you practical steps on how to set aside time towards your dreams and towards practice. We know life can get really busy and it's hard to kind of set aside dedicated time to this. So we wanna give you the steps and the tools you need so that you can become an amazing, amazing artist and musician, okay? So go and visit our website at starvingartistcourses.com, join our mailing list, and get your free PDF guide. Thank you so much for tuning in and go dream out loud.